Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to talk about ground effect that is generated in a Formula 1 car and how it is formed and what are its advantages. We know that Formula 1 car can take or negotiate corners at very high speeds. It is able to do that only because of the higher immense downforce that it can generate. So in this video we will check how the ground effect contribute to this downforce of the car. Before that we have to know what is an aerofoil is. Aerofoil is a design structure that is able to produce lift without increasing aerodynamic drag. Here we can see an aerofoil design. Uh, the top profile, top surface or is cambed profile and bottom surface is a flat profile. Here we can see uh, the velocity of air that is flowing above the uh, top or the topper profile have a higher velocity compared to that air molecule that is traveling and the bottom side this is because it is working in the principle of Bernoulli's theorem it states that when the pressure increases the velocity will decrease the equation is p plus half rho v square is equal to c P is the pressure, rho is the air density, V is the velocity of air and C which shows its constant. The equation shows that when the velocity of the air increases or, or velocity of any molecule increases the pressure will decline quickly. So here the lower pressure will be created and on top of the aerofoil and there will be higher pressure underneath which will lead to a lift force that is acting uh, from bottom to top. So the, uh, this is how the aeroplanes and all the aircraft flies from the ground. But uh, there is uh, what we need for a road car is we need negative lift or which is also called as downforce. So for that we have to increase the pressure above the vehicle or we have to increase the pressure on top of the vehicle and we have to reduce it underneath. So for this intention we are reducing the flow of air underneath the vehicle. But in the year of 1977, the Lotus 78 was introduced and FAA found that the car is um, very much quick at the corners compared to all other Formula 1 cars. How they achieved it? The Lotus engineers said that they have actually increased the flow of air underneath the vehicle. And I have already said that uh, for producing more downforce we have to uh, increase the flow of air above the vehicle to produce pressure above but they said the main opposite thing how on earth they can produce downforce by doing that it is according to the Bernoulli's theorem they actually increase the flow of air underneath but with a very higher velocity which consequently lead to a very low pressure region underneath the vehicle so it helped to uh, make a relative pressure difference between the pressure above the vehicle and underneath the vehicle so the relative pressure difference force will be acting downwards which will lead to higher downforce for the vehicle in this figure you can see uh, the how they achieved those low pressure region underneath they actually fitted a venturi tunnel here the venturi tunnel is denoted as the yellow color it is nothing but an inverted aerofoil where the low pressure region will be created underneath and high, high pressure region will be on the top. So the cambered surface will be underneath the vehicle and the flat surface will be on top. So here you can see uh, the inverter aerofoil profile means the higher velocity of air will be uh, passing through the downside and lower velocity air will be passing through the top of. So in this figure uh, it is a normal uh, aerofoil design for an aeroplane but it will be an inverter profile or uh, it will be actually upside down for a car to produce more immense downforce and this effect is known as ground effect here you can see the venturi meter here you can observe the walking of it this is how a venturi tunnel works here you can see when the cross-sectional area of the venturi tunnel decreases there will be a huge rise in velocity of the air molecules that is passing through which will create a low pressure zone at the lower cross-sectional area region. So for producing low pressure region underneath the vehicle we have to increase the velocity by reducing cross-sectional area. Here you can see uh, the inverter uh, 
aerofoil like structure here will have a lower cross sectional area at the center so the air air molecules that is passing through will be skewed down there and with a higher velocity which will lead to very low pressure underneath and the additional advantage of this profile is that it can create also high pressure in the rear side of the vehicle which will consequently reduce the aerodynamic drag and we can uh, provide better top speed uh, compared to a car with without a venturi tunnel in the side port. Uh, in addition to increase the effect they have additionally provide a skate in the side port of the vehicle as skate, the, that skate ca can actually uh, rub through the surface uh, the venturi tunnel effect the ground effect also uh, using in the modern era of formula one to increase the downforce this is the core part that can produce immense downforce we know that uh, ferrari is a pioneer in uh, formula one racing so for uh, achieving a better aerodynamics system uh, compared to Lotus they have invented the fan car uh, the fan car is able to produce the same uh, downforce um, or nearly the same downforce of Lotus 78 uh, they have sit uh, they have actually coupled an additional fan in the rear of the vehicle and it is able to increase the velocity of air passing underneath so I will be explaining about the fan car in the next video hope you have understand completely about what is a ground effect in cars and how it will affect the aerodynamics and how it, it will affect the downforce of the vehicle and you have to keep in this in mind that uh, when the downforce increases the drag will be also increased so don't forget to subscribe to my channel for never missing an updated video and see you in the next video and bye